Polar bears are incredibly well adapted to living in frigid environments, but with climate change we are seeing a dramatic loss in sea ice they need to hunt on, and we really don't know how the increasing temperature will affect their physiology. Will they be able to adapt to hunting on land without overheating? In other words, how hot is too hot for polar bears? Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Graham and I'm the director of WRG Conservation, which is a nonprofit foundation for wildlife research. And today I'm going to tell you about our study looking at thermoregulation in polar bears. What we want to find out here is what do polar bears need to do to avoid overheating in an increasingly warm climate. Now it's very difficult to do these types of studies on wild polar bears for obvious reasons and for that reason we are collaborating with zoos throughout North America and we're using their bears in their collections uh, for this study. Now there are several components to the study. An important component of the study is we need to be able to measure the internal body temperature of a polar bear. As you can imagine it's a little difficult to use a regular thermometer on a polar bear for this reason. And so we have fed our bears eye buttons. All right, so these are little data loggers. They measure temperature. We put them in a meatball and then the polar bear swallows it. And while it's in its gut, it measures the temperature of that polar bear every minute for about 36 hours. Then they poop it out. We wash it off, obviously. And then we can retrieve the data and we know how their body temperature is changing over time in relation to the outside temperature. Another important component of this study is, as you can see here, we do behavioral observations on our polar bears while they have the eye button in them to see what they're doing in order to uh, uh, avoid overheating. And finally, um, we're also looking at uh, infrared images of their polar bears to see where they're gaining or losing heat. Now, in addition to these thermal snapshots, we also have um, the zoos collecting fecal samples from each bear every day throughout the year so we can measure hormones um, related to stress and metabolism. So these samples are collected and then they are dried and they're crushed and then they are weighed out and they are extracted and then my graduate students can measure the hormones related to stress and metabolism um, using enzyme amino assays. Now what we hope to get at the end is we hope to have a good understanding of what a polar bear needs in its environment in order to avoid overheating. Now, like most wildlife studies, we're not going to discover something that's going to make anybody a profit, all right? So this is unlike things like biomedical research or agricultural research. Um, so for that reason, there is very little funding available to do these types of studies, and that is why we rely on people, hopefully like you, that love these bears as much as we do um, to help pay for the materials for this study. Um, and so if you have any questions uh, whatsoever about this study, the website for WRG Conservation is at the bottom of the screen. Please do not hesitate um, to contact us if you decide to help um, donate and help pay for this study. We do have uh, gifts for our donors like mugs, tote bags, stickers, t-shirts um, with pictures of the bears in our study. So thank you very much for listening and have a great day.